YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy. Guys, today I want to talk a little bit about discus aggression and what I do to kind of combat it a little bit. This also applies to my other favorite saltwater fish, German Blue Rams. Guys, as always, I'm a hobbyist. I make this video for other hobbyists. Please, please, please put your comments down below. Love to be able to talk with you guys. Hey, even if they're negative, it's all good. We all have one passion. That's proper care of these, these fish, guys. Let's take a look inside. Let's... Okay, so what causes discus aggression? Irregardless of whether or not, you know, these guys are tank bred, farm raised, what you know, whatever you want to call it. They still have their natural inclination for survival. That is a biological imperative. One of the ones that they have, which is to breed and live and, you know, just all around survive. They, they go through two seasons, basically, which is one is the rainy season and one is the dry season. In the rainy season, of course, the rain hits the water. It's soft. It's very acidic. And that triggers them to spawn. Um because the uh, tributary pools that end up forming in the dry season, basically it, it landlocks these guys into a tiny little pool. And Mother Nature has a whole series of weapons at her disposal where she will begin to thin out the weak fish. Okay? And so... If you take a look at your aquarium, what do you think that these discus uh, uh, subconsciously associate that as? They associate it as a flowing river or they associate it as a landlocked pool where, you know, they may starve, they may die, they, you know, they may not come out of their life. And a lot of times with when you have dirty water, stale water, unclean water, that triggers discus to start being very, very aggressive with one another because they are basically in survival mode. Um, a quick uh, uh, water change, you know, definitely livens them up uh, because that triggers that triggers it in their 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 instinct that hey, it, you know, it's going to start raining. It's going to you know, it, things are going to start opening up. And so to them, fresh water means a whole different uh, uh, life cycle system kicking in, mainly breeding and spawning, whereas stale water brings in, uh, hey, I'm in, I'm in survival mode right now. And this is what I need to do to survive. What I need to do to survive is beat the other guy up, uh, chase the other guys off. And what that ends up doing really is just causing, you know, especially for the hobbyists, it causes us a lot of stress. I know that. Um, you know, these German blue rams, they just like to just sit there and just box. Well, not really. He's kind of the bully and he is definitely always on the, on the run <laughs> from them. But guys, what I do to combat this is, you know, basically do small water changes kind of, you know, kind of, uh, like at least every other day, uh, you know, maybe, maybe five, 10 gallons, just give them a little bit of fresh water. Uh, so that they don't do just what you saw them doing right there. Um, they're kind of all trying to figure out about this camera situation. And, and of course, they, uh, you know, they definitely want to get fed. But that's exactly what happens with these, with these fish guys. And the best way to combat that, I've found, of course, you know, adding numbers to them, you know, that definitely spreads the aggression out. Uh, so you don't see so much of it, but also water changes help, you know, small little water changes, giving them, nuts, you know, some nice fresh water that also really helps out a lot, guys. It, it's definitely helped out with me. Just remember that these fish keep in mind that, you know, no matter how long they've been domesticated and acclimated to, you know, to, to, to our tank conditions, they still have a biological imperative to, you know, to breed and That's definitely tip to survive. For you. Guys, so I appreciate you watching. Please leave your comments down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that sub button. I promise you, I'll have you some good videos, even if you don't agree with them all the time. I promise you, I'll have them for you. Guys, Scoop Steve, you know what time it is. I'm out.